Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got another great product review for you. Today it's going to be on the Concord Stainless Steel Stock Pot. Y'all stay tuned. it, we're going to pull it out, we're going to wash it, and we're going to cook a nice uh, herb stewed chicken in it. i got a big roaster ready to go, and I think my chickens know. Alright, it's a big box. Usually when I get uh, when Concord sends us products over to, to uh, you know, to check out, usually double box. So, we go to the first layer in there, and this time it's not, but see we do have Here's a card to come with it. I'll show you a close up of that later. And it's, uh, here's the lid. Well packed, covered in plastic, bubble wrap. It's a nice lid. I, I, I don't really have a, a, a nice stock pot. So, I do appreciate the folks over at Concord for sending this guy over. And, um, let's see if we can get it out of here. It's pretty tight, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. First impressions, very heavy duty. Um, you know, I, I have the only big stainless steel pot I have is uh, one I think I got it years ago, maybe at a flea market. And it's been a nice pot, an okay pot. Um, but I can tell you right now, this pot is beautiful. Look at that thing. The finish on it is uh, 40 quarts, okay, printed right on the side there. And it has the uh, reinforced top rim on it. You can see where it's uh, double layered right here at the top. And a tri-ply bottom, a big thick stainless bottom. And of course it is made in China. Um, so it's just about everything else. Nice big handles on it here. They're riveted. You can see the, the the rivets there. Let's pull the lid out. See how that fits. Uh, yeah, it fits pretty well. So, we uh, take the camera there, and we'll uh, give you a better look at it from down this way. Okay, so like it says on the uh, on their uh, little included card, there it's free shipping on all their on all their uh, products. Here's a good look at the inside. It's uh, perfectly polished to a mirror finish on the inside, which I love. That you can, you can just see me in the camera. That's how shiny it is. All right, we have no problem for a big roaster hen sitting down in the bottom of that guy. Overall. Very nice looking pot. Okay, we got the big new pot set up on the Concord uh, double burner propane stove. I'd like to uh, thank all you guys that's gone over to our um, Amazon store and purchased that unit. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be happy with it. I've been happy with this one. So we just put a quart of water in there, just steaming. I got one little chunk of uh, that's fresh cilantro. I got uh, some fresh thyme and some fresh tarragon. And um, we may put a little bit more water in there. We're just going to bring that up to a boil. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in there also. And just uh, let our herbs get infused and infused in the water first. Right. Man, that smells awesome already. Uh, so we just put some uh, cracked black pepper, salt, along with our herbs. Another quart of water. A little. What I want to show you was that uh, this... Uh, Stainless steel pot right here would be a perfect companion for the, the banjo, single banjo burner uh, down here. Especially if you're into home brewing, which I know a lot of people use these pots for. Uh, I'm going to keep mine up on the double burner day only because I like the working level of this. You know, I don't have to bend down to get to it. But, you know, if you're going to do low country bowl or something like that, um, either one of these burners will work great. That one um, for brewing. 
or doing a low country boil where it's a hot and fast boil. Here it's going to be more of a simmer. That's why I chose the other, the other reason I chose the, the the Concord double burner is you know it's a little bit less BTUs and I can keep that fire way 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 down. So I have a big roaster out here. I'm gonna go ahead and put just maybe maybe two or three stalks of that tarragon inside of them. Uh, four or five uh, twigs at a time and then uh, half a sweet onion push it right up inside of them and that'll help uh, keep them bulked up there push it up in there tight it'll hold your seasoning in there and if you want you can stick maybe another couple pieces at a time Okay, so this is going to be a stewed chicken. So you notice he's not—he's only halfway covered with the uh, with the water. Sorry, the reflection of off the pot is so shiny; it's hard to get the camera to even focus down in there. But uh, we're only going to cover him up about halfway, and we're going to put the lid on him. And that breast meat's going to steam in the steam and all the juices and everything. I said, the pot's so shiny. It's hard to film it. Don't forget, if, if you want to purchase uh, products like this and all outdoor related cast iron, uh, even the uh, the burner that we use to uh, demonstrate the use of this pot, go to our Amazon store. We're going to leave you a link down in the first comment. If you don't see what you want there, just use that search bar. You can buy anything on Amazon right through the Backwoods Gourmet store. All right, so while that's coming up to simmer, the very last thing I'm going to add is some mango nectar. This is going to give it a beautiful citrusy flavor. I'm going to just pour it right on top of the chicken. Maybe a, maybe a cup and a half of that. I'll put the lid on and let her start simmering. All right, so this uh, these chicken's been going in the big uh, Concord stainless stock pot about an hour and 15 minutes, and we're going to check that internal temperature on the breast meat it's at 179 we do not want to go any further than that um, I still want that breast meat to be uh, I know it's a lot of steam sorry guys yep but he's 179 180 just turn it off the lid off a little vent a little bit we're gonna pull him out of there and then we're gonna reduce that beautiful beautiful stock in the bottom of the pot all right so we got him out I'm gonna cover them with some foil, keep them warm. Now, if, if you're doing this kind of cooking outdoors, I recommend getting you one of these uh, bamboo, they call them a spider. This is a kind of a large one. And I use that thing for everything, from doing stuff like this, removing uh, the chicken from the stock, frying. Uh, there's a million uses for that thing. I've had it for years, and it is an awesome cooking tool. And the chicken smells awesome. So we took out the chicken and we strained out all the big stems from those full stems of veggies, uh, herbs we put in there. So now it's just the broken down herbs. We use that spider to do that straining too. Works awesome for this. Um, so now we're just gonna bring it back up to a simmer and we're gonna let that reduce by, I don't know, two thirds and then we'll uh, taste it. So there you go guys. That is uh, stewed chicken with tarragon and thyme with a beautiful reduction of the broth some rice and broccoli and it smells awesome so all in all really do like this pot this is the 40 quart concord stainless steel tri-ply with a reinforced rim on it this is going to be a great addition to the backwards gourmet channel especially when it comes uh you know springtime going to blanch a lot of vegetables at once uh, and for low country bowls going to be awesome size for that hey, and uh, man you can't get much more uh, value you know this is a very nicely built pot especially for the price <music>
Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button right down there. If you'd like to see our last videos, right up there. And for a whole playlist of product reviews, check it out right up here. We'll see you next time.